Okay, we're talking about the loopback device, the virtual network device on your system that you can run services on that are only accessible by your machine. And I talked about in a previous video, the distribution of Linux called Slitaz. Again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's an example where they have all of their configuration menus, all their, their printer setups and their system setups are all a web interface running on a loopback device. Now there's no encryption going on there, so how are they doing this securely? Well, they're only running it on a loopback device, so it's only detectable by your you know, current system. It isn't accessible by anything else on the network. So here's an example. I'm going to use BusyBox, you know, a lightweight toolkit, and it has a built-in web server, HTTPD. And then here I can say dash P. Now, lots of times you'll do dash P and you'll just give it a port. Say I'm going to start it on which port. But if you say dash P and you give it 127.0.0.1 and then colon and the port number, in this case I'll do 8080 because I already have a web server running on port 80. And I'm going to say dash F for foreground and verbose so you can see output from it in the terminal here as we access it from the web browser. I'll start that up. Now down here in Firefox, just as an example web browser, I've put in my IP address and I've put in that port number. Now if I try to run that, it says that that, that server's not available. That server doesn't exist even though I'm on this local machine. And that would happen from any other network device. So any other computer or device on the network that tries to access port 8080 on my system using my IP address will not see that port open, will have no way to access it. Now I can come over here and I can say localhost and I can say port 8080 and when I run that, it says, hello world, it runs the server. You can see that it got a response. The first one, the, the web server didn't even see it because it never even got to the web server. It, it got rejected before it got to that point. Uh, I can also come down here and I can say 127.0.0.1 uh, at port 8080. So that's your local uh, loopback IP address. When you do localhost, that's really what it's translating it to. We run that and you can see that we got the response there. Everything's working fine. So I can run services. I can run a web server on this device that only this device can connect to and no other device can sniff it or even see that port's open. Now, if someone's on my network, I'm not using any type of encryption. I'm sorry, not my network. If someone's on this computer and they're sniffing that device and they have to be sniffing that device, they'll see anything I'm transferring, but they have to already be on my system and sniffing that particular device. Uh, so you got bigger problems if someone's already on your system running port uh, network sniffers. Anyway, hope you found this useful.